Hi, I'm Krista, the Curator of Education at the Illinois State Museum Dixon Mounds, and I am here today with our Curator of Anthropology, Logan Pappenfort. Logan, can you tell us about the significance of the Central Illinois River Valley? I'd be happy to. So the Illinois River Valley is tremendously important, not only to the current occupants of Illinois, but also to Native people who have occupied Illinois for thousands of years. It's very different than other rivers. You hear about rivers cutting deep into the landscape and causing erosion. Well, the Illinois River is actually a remnant of the ancient Mississippi. And this it causes the Illinois River to be exceedingly flat and long with a low gradient of change. And this low gradient causes what we call backwater lakes. What these backwater lakes cause are a abundance of environmental resources. And when I say environmental resources, I mean fish, waterfowl, land mammals, aquatic plants, as well as all multitudes of other species. Now what this, these environmental resources attract is of course the occupation of people. And that's where native people come into the picture because as many of the resources are here to utilize, then the people will follow those resources. And these types of backwater lake environments were not unique to where we stand here at Dixon Mounds, but they were dotted all across the Illinois landscape up and down the river. Because historically before the lock and dam system occurred, when the water would overflow, it would naturally create these kind of environments, which the animals would utilize. However, when we started to control and route the river how we wanted to, it took away that natural environment. That is with exception to the place that is behind me, which is called Imaquan. The Imaquan Preserve is approximately 11,000 acres and is owned by the Nature Conservancy and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and it's a native place name. Imaquan means spoon in Potawatomi and squash in Peoria. And so this was a place of heavy occupation of not only those two tribes, but many native tribes. And this is how we know that historically they were there, but if we look at the archeological record, we also see thousands of years this occupation taking place. And when we look out across this landscape, we can see over seven archeological sites. However, those are just the ones we know about. And we know that for thousands of years, this landscape was utilized for villages, towns, cemeteries, as well as spiritual places. But the river is even more important than the amount of environmental resources it provides to the people. It also provides an immense network of trade. Because you see, unlike in Europe where there is beasts of burden and roads and things to help with trade, in America, there's the rivers. And the rivers have always been extremely important to native people. Many native people, you can even trace their origin stories to the rivers. And so when we talk about the rivers as our way of life, we truly mean it going up and down the river with goods to trade, as well as offerings to give, was a key part of our life before removal. And so this is also what led to some of our most important agricultural crops, such as corn being introduced into this area. And so, as you can see, the Illinois River is not just a place, but for many native people, it is a home. Thank you, Logan, for sharing that information. And thank you for joining us today.